Welcome back to math. Today we're doing module 3, lesson 10 and 12. We're going to add fractions with the sum, or the answer is going to be greater than 2, and we're going to subtract fractions with um, mixed numbers greater than 1. Okay, as you can see up here, we have a problem. How many cups of punch does these combination of things make. Now we have one and a third cup of orange juice. It's in orange. We have three fourths of a cup of apple juice. We have two thirds of a cup of cranberry. And we have three fourths of a cup of lemon lime in yellow. Now, as you notice, I've already cut our number line into one hole, two holes, three holes, four. Okay, now what we're going to do is let's take a look, and I've already cut this one hole into how many pieces? Three, you said? Good job. I can have one third, two thirds, and one hole is three thirds. Then I have one hole and a third, one hole and two thirds, and one hole and three thirds, which would make two holes, right? All right, then I cut my line up into fourths, and you're gonna see why in a minute. But I have two, let's all say this, two, two and one, one fourth, two, two and two fourths, two and three fourths and two and four fourths which make three holes and then we have three and one fourth three and two fourths which would also be three and a half and then we have three and three fourths and then three and four fourths which would make four whole cups so let's go ahead and start with our problem, shall we? And see how we do. So let's start with the orange part first. So I'm gonna change my pen orange, okay? How far am I gonna go over for one and a third cups? How far am I gonna go over? Well, I'm gonna go, remember, one and one third. So I go from here over to the one and then to the third and I'm going to put an orange dot there to show that I've done what? I've moved all the way over for the orange juice. So I've got the orange juice all taken care of. Which one should I do next do you think? Go ahead and say it out loud. We should do the cranberry. Why should we do the cranberry next? Because it's, a, it's a, in the Because it's in thirds, isn't it? You see the three on the bottom? That means we ought to do that one next because our line is already cut up into thirds. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So I'm going to change the color of my pen to match our cranberry. And how many times am I going to go over? Let's count with me. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go over one third, two thirds. Now my dot is over the two whole cups. We have two cups now, don't we? Okay, so I can cross this one off because I'm done with that one. Now what shall I do next? Well, let's do the apple juice, shall we? Now, how much apple juice am I going to count over for? Three fourths. Three fourths. So I'm going to let's count together: one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. So now I have how many cups total? I have two cups and three fourths. And that takes care of our apple juice. Now we only have one more thing to add. 
What is it? It is the lemon lime, and this is by the cups, right? Yes. Okay, so how many times are we going to count over now? Three We're going to count over three-fourths. So we already have our line cut up into fourths, so this is really easy. Ready? Let's count together. We're going over one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. So how much juice total do we have? How much juice total do we have? We have how many to how many whole cups do we have? We have three whole cups because that's this number right here, right? And how much more? And a half. We have three and a half which would be right here, wouldn't it? Or we could say we have three and two-fourths of a cup, right? They both mean the same thing because if you notice, are you ready? Two is half of four. So we have three and two-fourths. That equals three and one-half because two, everybody say it, two is half of four. All right. Okay, now in this problem, we're going to be doing subtraction. So, where are we going to put our dot? Where are we going to put our dot for this problem? Where are we going to put our dot? On the... What do we have? What do we have up there? We have a two... Say it together. Two and three-fourths. So, where are we going to put the dot? Two. two on the two we're gonna put it right here I know. no no where are we gonna put it two, two and three, three fourths four. so let's put our dot there is that the right place yes is that two and three fourths yes this is a two and here's our three fourths right Start from the two and go to the three fourths. all right now in subtraction what are we doing we're, we're starting with our total first it's the big number. And we're going to do what with it? We're going to take something away. How much are we going to take away right here? One half. One half. Now, do you know what a half is in fourths? Two. Do you know what a half two is fourths. in fourths? Two fourths? Well, I'm glad to hear you say two fourths. Why? Because two is half. Everybody. Two is half of four. So if I had four fingers and I and half of them are how many? Two. two. Okay, so how much are we gonna take off now? And in order to take off, are we gonna go to the left or are we gonna go to the right? The left. We are going to go to the left, so let's do that. How much? We're gonna go over how many fourths? Two. Two, so count with me. One fourth, two fourths. And, oops. I don't know how that happened. That's weird. Okay, so what's our answer? What's our answer? Two and a fourth. So our answer right here is going to be two and one fourth. Four. Okay, we have a problem. Three and a half. Where does our big dot go? It goes on the three and a half, which would be right here, right? Yes. Okay, what are we going to do with it? We're going to take away how much? One and one fourth. We're going to take away one and one fourth. Now, if we go over one, what's one and fourths? What is one hole in fourths? What's one hole in fourths. Four fourths. Four fourths. So let's count over by fourths. Ready? One, fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. So there, that takes off our one, right? We got rid of the one. And how much further do we go? One fourth. One fourth for this one, right? This one right here. So we go over one fourth more and we put our dot there what's our answer 
What is our answer? Our answer is two and one fourth. So, I know it's weird, isn't it, how it works? Two and one fourth. That's how it worked. Did you see how we did that this time? Uh -huh. Excellent.